everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with 10 hair hacks I think everyone with locks will benefit from. Not just the ladies, this one's for the fellas too. So let me jump right into it. Number one, cut your old pantyhose and use the legs for headbands. Now I know I just said this for the fellas too, you guys probably don't have pantyhose go to the dollar store and get you a cheap pair I prefer to make these homemade headbands as opposed to buying regular headbands they're really convenient it'll keep your hair out of the way it'll lay down your edges and they could be a cute accessory I wear them all the time as headbands sometimes I wear them to sleep the options are endless now number two is a great follow-up for number one if you're cutting up the stockings use the leftover part you know the part with the elastic where you put your butt in. Use that to make a stocking cap or a tam for your locks. When your hair is a pain, especially in the heat, you can fit your locks inside and it'll stay off your neck. It'll keep you cool. I actually have a video on this, exactly how to make it. Check that out. Number three, throw away your ponytail holders. These are useless, especially as your hair gets longer and thicker. These pop. Use these instead, okay? They'll hold more hair, they'll last longer, they don't pop. You can double it up or triple it up so it's nice and secure. Put your hair in a ponytail and call it a day. Number four, implement a scalp massager into your hair routine. I have one by Vanity Planet. This is the scalp massaging shampoo brush. I use it while I'm shampooing my hair and I use it while my hair is dry. What it does is it exfoliates your scalp, gets rid of all the dead skin, dry skin, dandruff, and makes room for healthy new hair to grow. So it's great for hair growth as it stimulates blood flow to your scalp and it cleans your scalp. It's not too hard, it won't hurt you, it won't break your hair. It's really comfortable and soothing, especially when combined with essential oils. If you have a headache, it's a really great scalp massage then too. And yeah, sometimes I just use it to massage my scalp while it's dry. I oil it and then I use this. If it's real snug in your hands like this, turn it on and it vibrates and it's so soothing. I'll have the link below on where you can get yours. 50% off with my coupon code LOCKTALK, okay? Plus, Vanity Planet now has the scalp massaging shampoo brushes in more colors, so definitely check them out. I have the links below. I've been using mine for about a year now, maybe two. That's number four, must have. Number five, now I know so many of us aren't very picky with the shampoos that we use on our locks. Sometimes we get the cheap stuff and that can really dry out our hair. I know sometimes we use conditioners, that's really good. Sometimes we just do hot oil treatments, that's really good too. But we can't deny the damage that's done to our hair when we wash it and it's left feeling incredibly brittle. So if your shampoo strips all of the moisture out of your hair and doesn't replenish it, try adding a few tablespoons of castor oil or olive oil to the shampoo. Shake it well and I promise you you'll notice a huge difference a huge difference in the way that your hair feels when you finish your wash. Sometimes that can be enough and you don't even need to use conditioner or a hot oil treatment afterwards. Number six, get some hair nets. Yes, hair nets, the same things that the lunch lady wears. A lot of times it's really difficult to put our hair in a lock bun, like a donut bun. Sometimes our locks stick out and poke out. Sometimes we don't mind it, but sometimes we want a really neat look. And a hair net really helps to keep the locks secure and in place. Leave me a comment below if you want a hair net bun demonstration video, okay? Also, hair nets are really good for preserving curls. So you went through all this trouble to curl your locks. I know it's not easy, especially for some of us. We have a lot of difficulties. And then our hair drops? No, 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 we can't have that. When you're in the house or when you're sleeping, try putting your curls in a hair net. That'll keep the curls up and in place, which will help delay dropping. That is a major key. You may need a couple bobby pins to secure the net so to make sure it doesn't slip off, but that's fine. Yeah, so I don't think that tip was very 
guy friendly. Sorry about that one, fellas. Number six, we can all benefit from. A lot of the times, especially the longer our hair gets, the longer it takes for our hair to dry. Something to speed up the process of our hair drying after a wash, don't oil it while it's wet. I know a lot of us like to oil it right away when we finish washing it. The water does help the oil distribute through our, our hair, but it delays drying. Wait till your hair is about at least 75% dry if you don't want to wait till a complete 100%. Wait till it's mostly dry and then oil your hair. Number eight, cover your hair when you're cleaning, dusting, sweeping, you're doing yard work, anything that can be kind of messy and dirty and dusty, cover your hair. We know how stubborn dust and lint and things like that can be once it gets into contact with our hair. It can be difficult to remove. So the best medicine is prevention. Cover your hair, maybe if it's just a hoodie or if you have a bonnet, a scarf, something, cover your hair. Number nine, I know sometimes we get into dusty situations without covering our hair, it happens. Just make sure that you do not wash your hair while you have lint in it. So one thing that you can do to help ensure that your hair is lint free before washing is brushing your locks. Brush your locks with a soft boar bristle brush before you wash your hair and notice that any lint or any foreign objects that may be in your hair, wash them fly out if it's there at all. Quick tip, if your locks are immature, don't brush them. You'll disrupt the process and encourage excess frizz and you don't need that. You're already dealing with frizz. So I would recommend tip number nine to people with locks that are three years old and older. And another tip, don't brush too close to the roots because no matter how old your locks are, your hairs towards your roots are immature. So stay away from your roots. Probably brush three quarters down. That tends to be where lint is a problem anyway, towards the ends. And last but not least, get yourself a copy of More Than a Hair Journey, The Black Woman's Guide to Self-Love and Lock Maintenance. By me, Keisha Charmaine Felix. This book came out this week. I believe men and women will benefit from this read. Part one is about my personal lock journey and my self-love journey and really how a natural hair journey becomes a self-love journey without you even knowing it. And part two, the second half of the book, is a guide on lock maintenance. It teaches you everything that you need to know about starting locks, issues you may have while your hair is locked, and even tips for people with mature locks. It's currently available for purchase now on Amazon.com and Create Space, soon to be on Kindle. I'll very soon have arrangements for international customers, so stay tuned. I'll have all the links below, okay? Check the description box. So that's it. That is my top 10 hair hacks for people with locks. Make sure you take advantage of my discount to get 50% off, get half off of Vanity Planet Scalp Massaging Shampoo Brush. This is a must have. You guys may have seen me use it in a bunch of my videos. My coupon code is LOCKTALK for half off, okay? Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps. Leave me a comment below. Like this video, subscribe, and share. And follow me on Instagram at KillaDoesThat. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks. Love.